This is Mr. Monty. Mr. Monty is a Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire is a small dog breed of the terrier type developed in the 19th century in Yorkshire, England to catch rats in clothing mills. Mr. Monty comes from a long line of rat-catching dogs. While Mr. Monty's father and father before him worked at mill in Yorkshire, Mr. Monty himself actually resides in one home of Mrs. Fanny Kennelsworth as a bona fide residential mouse catcher. Today is his first day on the job. On one summer day, Mrs. Kennelsworth had to leave the house to visit her friend in Manchester. Now, Mr. Monty, if you see a mouse in the house, I want you to be a good dog and kill it. Now this is Mr. Mouser Squeak. He has made Mrs. Kenilworth's home his home his entire life. His only source of food is the cheese that she places in her mousetrap on a daily basis. How does he eat the cheese and not get caught, you may ask? He has an astounding knack for being able to eat around the cheese without setting off the trap. On this day, like any other, Mr. Squeak was ready for his daily meal, so he ventured out of his hole in the wall to dine when he caught a glimpse of Mr. Monty. The two made eye contact and both realized what they needed to do. Mr. Monty needed to give chase and Mr. Squeak needed to run. Mr. Monty gave chase and tracked the mouse all over the house. Mr. Squeak eventually caught a glimpse of his hole in the wall and started heading toward it, bypassing the ever so tempting piece of cheese that lay in wait at the mouse trap. Right as Mr. Monty was about to catch Mr. Squeak, he caught wind of the cheese which now sat before him in the mouse trap. What is this? Does my snout deceive me, or is that a fine lump of cheese before my very eyes? Mr. Monty decided that he would break from the chase. This allowed Mr. Squeak to make it himself back to the hole without coming to harm, and it also allowed Mr. Monty to get himself caught in the mousetrap. It swiftly closed on Mr. Monty's paw, and he let out a howl in despair. At this point, Mr. Squeak, feeling guilty about Mr. Monty's predicament, decided to leave his hole to have a little chat with his pursuer. Oi, Mr. Monty! I see that you're in quite a predicament, so I have a proposition for you. What, pray tell? Might you be talking about, little mouse? I propose a truce. If I help you by putting your paw out the mouse trap, you must agree and never try to catch me again and let me live in peace. Well, you know, that does sound like a good proposition, but you do realize that if you free me, I will promptly take a swift bite out of you that will most likely kill you. No, no, Mr. Monty. I believe that if I save your life on this day, you will allow me to live the rest of mine. Mr. Squeak ignored the warnings and left his hole to venture toward the incapacitated Mr. Monty. Mr. Squeak gave all of his strength and was able to pry open the mouse trap, freeing his nemesis. At this point, Mr. Monty promptly proceeded to sink his teeth into the body of Mr. Squeak that left the mouse in a near-death state. Hi, Mr. Monty. Why would you do such a thing? I just saved your life and this is how you repay me? Well, I do appreciate the assistance, little mouse. You must realize that I am still a dog. It's just in my nature. And with that, Mr. Squeak went to sleep forever, and Mr. Monty called it a day. The moral of today's tale is that the behavior of some creatures, or of some people, is irrepressible, no matter how they are treated and no matter what the consequences, as Mr. Squeak surely found out on this day.